There is nothing impossible with God. All the impossibility is with us when we measure God by the limitations of our unbelief. Great faith is the product of great fights. Great testimonies are the outcome of great tests. Great triumphs can only come out of great trials. A man is in a great place when he has no one to turn to but God. There is something about believing God that will cause him to pass over a million people to get to you. God does not call those who are equipped, he equips those whom he has called. To hunger and thirst after righteousness is when nothing in the world can fascinate us so much as being near God. God has privileged us in Christ Jesus to live above the ordinary human plane of life. Those who want to be ordinary and live on a lower plane can do so, but as for me, I will not. Some people read their Bibles in Hebrew, some in Greek, I like to read mine in the Holy Ghost. You must every day make higher ground. You must deny yourself to make progress with God. Real faith built the ark, but real faith did not shut the door. God did that. He does what you cannot do. Real faith has perfect peace and joy and a shout at any time. It always sees the victory. If you seek nothing but the will of God, He will always put you in the right place at the right time. All things are possible to him that believeth. Oh, the name of Jesus. There is power in that name to meet every condition of human need. The Spirit reveals, unfolds, takes of the things of Christ and shows them to us, and prepares us to be more than a match for satanic forces. I am not moved by what I see. I am moved only by what I believe. I know this, no man looks at appearance as if he believes. No man considers how he feels if he believes. The man who believes God has it. There are four principles we need to maintain. First, read the Word of God. Second, consume the Word of God until it consumes you. Third, believe the Word of God. Fourth, act on the Word of God. The devil knows if he can capture your thought life he has won a mighty victory over you. Our blessed Lord Jesus is still alive, and continues his ministry through those who are filled with his spirit. You must come to see how wonderful you are in God and how helpless you are in yourself. The blood of Jesus Christ and his mighty name are an antidote to all the subtle seeds of unbelief that Satan would sow in your minds. I don't often spend more than half an hour in prayer at one time, but I never go more than half an hour without praying. A prayer without faith is without accomplishment. God wants to purify our minds until we can bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, and endure all things. When things are not going right, there are satanic forces in operation, I can pray in the Holy Ghost, and that prayer is effectual to bring down every stronghold of the enemy. Life comes after you have been filled with the Holy Ghost, get down and pray for power. I'll only pray for you once, to pray twice is unbelief. God dwells in you, but you cannot have this divine power until you live and walk in the Holy Ghost until the power of the new life is greater than the old life. God can so fill a man with his spirit that he can laugh and believe in the face of a thousand difficulties. God has privileged us in Christ Jesus to live above the ordinary human plane of life. Those who want to be ordinary and live on a lower plane can do so, but as for me, I will not. I believe that there is only one way to all the treasures of God, and that is the way of faith. 
by faith and faith alone do we enter into a knowledge of the attributes and become partakers of the Beatitudes, and participate in. Promises are yea and amen to them that believe. The Lord would so cleanse the motive and desires of our hearts that we will seek but one thing only, and that is, His glory. There is nothing that our God cannot do. He will do everything if you will dare to believe. Q. In me is working a power stronger than every other power. The life that is in me is a thousand times bigger than I am outside. It is an awful condition to be satisfied with one's spiritual attainments, God wasn't is looking for hungry, thirsty people. There is something about believing God that will cause him to pass over a million people to get to you. Before God could bring me to this place he has broken me a thousand times. The plan of God for your life is that you should be held captive by his power. But that which you are forced to do by the power of the Holy Ghost moving through you. I never get out of bed in the morning without having communion with God in the Spirit. God longs intensively for unhindered communication and total response between Him and the believer indwelt by the Holy Spirit. The secret of spiritual success is a hunger that persists, it is an awful condition to be satisfied with one's spiritual attainments, God wasn't is looking for hungry, thirsty people.